All right, Chet and I are at the Lafayette Place Campground. We're doing a couple of nights here. We're car camping. It's something we do after every Labor Day. And this is our tent. It's an eight person dome tent from Ozark Trail, AKA Walmart. And we've had it for a while. We take it every year. However, we learned last night that it is not downpour proof. Um, it's a great tent when it's nice out, but as we were sleeping last night, it was raining inside the tent and everything got soaked. So from Franconia, we went to North Conway. We went to the laundromat so we could dry everything, all of our sheets and clothes and stuff. But then we went to REI and did a little shopping. <laughs> All right, so at REI, we were looking at the car camping tents, and I gotta thank Justin Outdoors for his recommendation, because I had just watched one of his videos where he talked about this tent. I don't know if he had the four or six person, but we went with the six person. It's the Nemo Aurora High Rise six person tent, and it was pretty nice setting it up for the first time. Um, we already noticed a huge quality difference um, in just how it's put together compared to the Walmart tent. And it might not fit as many people because we just went from an eight person tent to a six person tent, but it is so much taller. And that's something I really like about it. I just put in our mattress from last night and you can clearly see how much we got rained on while we were sleeping. It's still soaked. So we're just camping on a regular blow up air mattress. Uh, this is a full. And I just want to point out that this tiny air pump managed to blow up the whole thing on one charge so this has a lot of power highly recommend all right so while we were at rei we picked out the tent immediately but then i went back and forth a lot whether to get new sleeping bags or not and i got the new sleeping bags so these are the nemo equipment jazz 30 degree fahrenheit bags and we got two of them um, our sleep system last night was not like top notch at all yeah. we just <laughs> we just had our regular bed sheets and then i opened up my quilt all the way and laid that on top but i wanted like a legit camping setup so we got two of these bags and they should work together pretty well and like attach and zip together to create like a mega sleeping bag and it's got some cool features that once I get them set up, I will show you. So I'm still working on getting the sleeping bags set up, but I will show you them in the morning because it's getting dark and, and Chet just finished making the burgers on the grill. But I hung the lights up in the tent and it looks so cool. So I'll give you the full lowdown on the sleeping bags and how they worked out in the morning. And I will also give you a tour of our campsite and everything we have going on here. So the new sleeping bags worked really great last night. Um, I'll show you a little bit about the features that they have. So we got two of the Nemo Jazz 30 degree sleeping bags. And it's pretty cool because they have zippers on both sides, which allow us to zipper the sleeping bags together. So it was a cool setup. And then underneath the sleeping bag, it comes with a sheet that kind of clips into place. And then I also really liked the hood because there's a place for you to keep your pillow. And I really like that because the pillow didn't fall behind the sleeping pad, which is something I dealt with the first night before we had this whole sleep system. So worked out really well. The only thing is I did toss and turn a lot and this sheet, which is usually snapped in place, did become unsnapped very easily. So I feel like most of the night the sheet wasn't actually on me, but I'm still getting used to it. And then because this is my first like sleeping bag and not a quilt, so this was my first time having something with a draft collar, which is kind of nice because it keeps you warmer, but it was also something that I need to get used to, just having all this extra fabric by my neck, but it was pretty cool. I enjoyed it. Also, the tent performed really well last night. It did rain and absolutely no water got in the tent. Um, I think I said this already, but I just love how 
tall the tent is, you can stand up really easily in the tent. And also look at the size of that front door. It's awesome. <laughs> and also the vestibule is pretty big, so you can stash stuff outside the tent, but under the vestibule and it'll stay dry too. So really happy with our decision of getting this whole tent and sleeping set up from Nemo. All right, so here at the Lafayette Place campground, we are in spot number 59, and I wanted to give you a little tour of the setup. So over here, we have our bikes. We uh, brought our bikes on this camping trip, and then the site comes with a fire pit. We did not use it. We did something else. I'll show you in a second. Over here, we have the picnic table area. We have this little canopy because it was raining the whole time we came here. Although the canopy did not really protect from all that much rain, um, it helped a little bit. Um, so we have the stove where we cooked breakfast and dinner, scrambled eggs, burgers. And then over here is our little coffee station. This is how we made coffee. We boil the water in the jet boil and then use this kind of camping French press thing to make the coffee. And then we just had our own mugs from home. Coffee. Over here, this was super nice for this camping trip. It's a propane fire pit. So we had that going even when it was raining, which was super nice, not having to build our own fire when it was raining and everything was wet. So super easy to turn on, kept us pretty warm. It puts out a lot of heat. We also have our camping chairs that are brand new, got them off our wedding registry, and they have coolers attached to them, which was pretty neat. We just found that out. And then over here is the tent. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Is it going? All right, every time. I'm gonna get so awkward and film my work here. What do you like about it? What? What else do you want me to talk about? I don't know. Cop, keep talking. I will show you.